Big things have happened in the Sheboygan River. This once neglected river moved to the top of EPA's priority cleanup list in 2010. The dredging negotiations for cleaning up the contaminated sediments were well underway. Things could be done, expedited, and come to completion in a relatively short amount of time. So that was a, a huge thing to put Sheboygan on the priority list. An area of concern, or AOC listing, is based on 14 impairments or problems. Problems can range from contaminated sediment to loss of habitat. We've got nine beneficial use impairments out of the 14 that are possible through the AOC program. Contaminated sediment is a problem that is common to all AOCs. The contaminated sediment accumulated here as it did in other portions of the river. Because of the contamination, this has not been dredged for several decades. And so over time, uh, the channel has become so shallow that the size vessels that the community would like to see in here for um, tourism and so forth aren't able to use this river and so once it's dredged um, we should be able to offer a wider variety of recreational and tourism opportunities. After just three years all the major projects have been completed. 15,000 truckloads of contaminated soil were removed, and 34 acres of wetland, island, and stream habitat were restored. One special location is Wildwood Island, the only undeveloped island in the river. This island was completely overrun by invasive plants, which was making it completely unsuitable habitat for all the, the critters that we are trying to get to uh, come here and live here. So we need to remove those invasive plants in order to start fresh. To restore the island's potential as natural habitat, crews scraped away the invasive plants and contaminated soil, trucked in clean topsoil, and planted native species. When we have the soil put down, the topsoil, the crew comes back in and they seed over the top of it, and then they place the fabric. And then once the fabric is in place, they come back and put little holes in the fabric and then plant plugs through there. And when we come in and have trees in certain areas, they'll actually cut a bigger area, excavate the soil, place the tree in, and then they sew the fabric back up around it. To protect these new plantings, the island needed to be stabilized against erosion by the river's swift currents. What they've done is taken trees and root wads and kind of um, placed them not only into the bank vertically, but also horizontally and then put soil on the top of them. What that will do is kind of absorb the energy from the river as well as provide habitat. The island's improved habitat will allow many different species, including migratory and resident birds, to make their homes there. We have osprey platforms as well as a heron rookery that's going up, nesting for all kinds of critters that fly, and then we also have some enhanced shoreline vegetation for the critters that live along the shoreline. The heavy work is done, but the job of maintaining and monitoring will need to continue. The plants are really small now, they need to grow up and we need to make sure that um, as that those roots mature that we don't have washouts or things like that. At Esslingen Park, Kiwanis Park and the Indiana Drive Wayside, crews completed stream and riverbank work. Boulders and log jams will provide cover for fish and shoreline improvements will provide better access for canoeists, kayakers, and anglers. It's a really a popular fishing area. Anglers come from all over the Midwest. I've seen cars here from five different states at a time uh, in spring or fall, people coming here to fish for salmon. Over time, the benefits to fish, wildlife, and the local economy will become even more apparent but continued community involvement will be needed to fully heal this important river. Some people say that this is kind of wrapping up the restoration of this river, but I look at it as a starting point. It's really opening the door now for the community to step in and take the reins and continue to improve upon what we've been able to do here with these large projects.